All right, let's look at an introduction to lenses for a second. Now, lenses can go really deep, really quick. So I'm going to try to break it down, what you need to know right now. There are four things, in my opinion, that we have to worry about with a lens. One, how far can it see? How close can it see? How much light can enter it? And how much light can be closed off? Okay, those four things. So, how far can I see? How close can I see? How much light can I take in? How much light can I choke off? Now, those four things in, in number-wise <laughs> go like this. So if you look at these numbers on a lens, so I don't know if you can see this, 18 to 200 millimeter is the starting point. So this is how close it can see, 18. 200 millimeter is how far effectively it can see. The next set of numbers, 3.5, is how uh, much light can enter the camera. The second set of numbers is how much light can the, the lens let in while it's extended. Okay, so at 3.5, it can let in a lot of light. But when it, it's extended, it can only let in 5.6. So we'll get into the, what these numbers mean as far as aperture settings. So these are the, um, the closeness, the distance, and then how much light can be taken in at both its uh, contracted and expanded state. And we can see that here. Uh, I can kind of prove that in the fact that right now I have the lens totally extended out and it's saying 5.6. Okay. Well, I cannot reach the aperture of 3.5. But if I draw in the lens, you can see it changes to 3.5. The distance between these numbers really state a lot about the cost of the lens. So if it's 18 to 200 millimeters, obviously you have a lens that's very versatile. I can be up close to something like a bug, and then I can be very far away. So this takes wide shots, telescopic, whatever you want, because it has got a lot of change. Now that lens is, uh, I think, 850 or something like that. This is the lens the Nikon camera comes with. So this is 55 to 200 millimeter. They give you this lens. Now, I would say they could have kept the lens. <laughs> um, but eight, uh, 55 to 200 millimeter isn't bad. Uh, the problem with it is you can't get up close to anything. So I have to be 55 millimeters away in order to auto focus on something. And the 200 is the same. So both lenses, as far as the extended value is concerned, um, are just about the same, except for the glass. You can see here, I have much more glass here. The optics much bigger. The optics much smaller. The amount of optics in a lens almost you know, doubles the amount of the cost of the lens. But it also makes it way more efficient when it comes to dealing with light. And you can see the numbers on this one is 4.5 by 5.6. So the less aperture is 4.5 and then 5.6. All right, good. Now let's look at a strange lens. Uh, this is a fisheye lens, and you can see that it is a lot different. It doesn't state the millimeters as far as uh, the greatest distance and less distance. This time, a fisheye lens is very specific in its cause. I am efficient at 10.5 millimeters. Anything outside of that really doesn't matter. Okay. And I will let in um, an aperture of 1 and then at its complete value of 10.5 millimeters or totally extended out like this, I will only let in 2.8. Still, that's pretty low. Now, the second set of numbers, if you can find a lens that has like a 1.4 or 1.5, that's 
great. It'll shoot in almost complete darkness just about. So those are great for sporting events. And then when you start crawling up to about 5.6 and, um, and then above, you're looking at a lens that won't be able to handle the dark as much. Now there are ways to change that on the camera, obviously. But just know that when I talk about millimeters, from here on out, I'm talking about this. Here's a wall. Here's your subject. Here's your camera. Okay? If this is a 55 to 200 millimeter lens, from here to here, I can go greater than 55. Okay, greater than 55. And now that, that draws some numbers into your head and then uh, you get kind of confused in the fact that I got a number greater than 55. But that also means that I have to be 55 millimeters away from the subject with this lens. Anything greater than 55 millimeters. But now the distance between here and here is anywhere from 55 to 200 millimeters. So that depth is commonly known as your field depth or depth of field. So that's a pretty large depth of field and we're going to see what that means in the next video when we talk about aperture. Uh, and we're also going to talk about light and how it interacts with aperture. So, for right now, those, that's an elementary lesson on lenses, and we'll get in more depth later, and let's go on to the next video.